What's up guys, it's Matt Collins jones here, also known as the 365 Geek, and today we're looking at Excel Online Business, and we're going to look at the action which is Get Worksheets. So this action allows you to get the worksheets available in an Excel spreadsheet. This could be a spreadsheet hosted in your OneDrive for Business or in your SharePoint, and allows us to get some information about those, spread those worksheets. So let's take a look at that today. So in my uh, my flow here, I've got a manual trigger because I don't need to pass any data into it. I'm going to click on New Step. I'm going to go to Excel Online Business, this one here. Then I'm going to look at this action, Get Worksheets. <coughs> Excuse me. We only need three pieces of information for this. We need the location, we need the document library, and then we need the file. So location is going to be where is your file actually stored. So in my instance, it's, it's stored in my OneDrive for business, but you could also share, store this in your SharePoint as well. If you store it in your SharePoint, as you can kind of see here, I've, I've got all these different groups down here. These are groups that are my, uh, my Office 365 groups or my Microsoft 365 groups, which are, excuse me, which are, um, Created with my SharePoint. So, create a SharePoint site based on a certain thing. It's automatically giving me a group. It's automatically giving me a SharePoint site with it. In this instance, I'm just going to choose OneDrive for Business, but you could choose your SharePoint site. Then we have Document Library. Uh, for OneDrive for Business, there are two. I don't know why there's two. Um, previously, when I've used them, they both work, but sometimes only one of them works, so I'm going to choose this one at the top. Uh, if you know why there's two, let me know down below. Um, then we'll choose this picker here for the file so we can find the file in our OneDrive for business. Can I click on the picker? No, did I choose the wrong one? Did, do I need to choose the bottom one? No, doesn't want to work. Hold on. We will just choose this again very quickly. OneDrive. OneDrive business. OneDrive. There we go. Just having a bit of a moment there. So I just got rid of it and, and brought it back again. Uh, good tip if you're uh, struggling with Power Automate. Um, so we can go down to the Power Automate folder, which is where my file is located. And then I've got a file here called flowbook.xl. Uh, uh, it's easy for me to say. Um, and that's all we need. That is all the information that we need. So I can click on test. And I can perform the trigger action. I'll save and test. Then I will go to run the flow. Click done. Flow is running. And then we can see some data. So we get it in a JSON output. Um, and we can scroll through this and we can see what we've got. So we get the OData ID. So this is where the file is. Um, and then we have the name of the sheet. We have the position. So it goes from zero to whatever. And we also have the visibility of if it's if it's visible or not. So in my spreadsheet, I it seems like I've got a the start and sheet in worksheet in my spreadsheet is named JLA. It's got a position of zero, so it's the first one, and it's visible. Uh, then I've got one called Doom Patrol and it's visible. Then I have one called JSA and it's visible. And then I have one called Birds of Prey and it's hidden. So let's flick over to my spreadsheet and let's take a look at it. So this is my spreadsheet. This is hosted in, in OneDrive for Business. And as we can see down here, we have three, um, three worksheets. We have JLA, we have Doom Patrol, and we have JSA. So there's nothing in these other spreadsheets, all the, all the worksheets. But we have these other ones. So we've identified that there's three there. And if I go to Unhide, we do have another sheet in there called Birds of Prey. So that's what this that's what this worksheet does. That's what this action inside of Power Automate does. What it does is it takes the takes the data and um, takes the worksheets that you've got, identifies them, shows you whether they're hidden or not, um, and then you can do something with them. So what do you guys do? What do you guys use this for? Um, do you use it to see how many worksheets you've got in somewhere and maybe count them and, and do something with that? Do you maybe make sure that all your worksheets are named the same so you kind of get this out to make sure it's all working? What do you guys use this for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could share and like it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. I'll see you next time.